Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox engineering team. Richard, great to see you again. Thank you. Always great to be here. Now, we are here to talk about the uh, features coming to Xbox One in the August update. What do we have to look forward to? The August update is a pretty big update for social and community engagement. The first feature is the activity feed. We've revamped the activity feed to really focus the items appearing in your feed to, to the things that you care most about. Achievements earned by your friends, game DVR clips, uh, new friend relationships, and we're also making it longer so that we can include more items in the feed and you can really scroll back pretty far in time to see really the history of what your friend network has been up to. I've also noticed here, we can see it here in, these, in, in, in on the video, is that there's also some other things you've added to the activity feed. Well, so we've made the activity feed more interactive. And so you have the abil ability now to like items in the feed. Okay. You have the ability to comment on them. And when your friends comment on items in your feed, uh, you'll be notified of that. So you can see what's popular amongst your friends. But even cooler than that is you can share game DVR clips from your activity feed to another activity feed and promote them mm -hmm. uh, across all of your friends or you can share them as an attachment in an Xbox Live message to specific friends. Where, where, where else can I use that functionality? Well, the upload app. Uh, so when you're using the upload app, you'll see game DVR clips uh, and be able to like them from within there as well. Sweet. Also, one of the most requested features I've seen for a while, mobile purchases. That's right. In the August update, using either SmartGlass or Xbox.com, mm -hmm. you will be able to buy games and add-ons. And when you have your home console configured for instant on and background up, Updates. When you buy that item, it will power on just enough to download and install so that it's ready to play when you get home. All right. I like that. All right. Moving right along here, we have uh, cool news about some couple of notifications. So also fan feedback around notifications. The first is being able to disable notifications during video playback. All right. So when you're watching TV or you're in full screen video, you can disable notifications from appearing. Sometimes you don't feel like playing a game. You're just maybe on a date night or watching a big game and you don't want to be interrupted and this one will now not interrupt you. That's right. And then when you go back to playing a game or, or you go out to home, you'll get uh, you'll get notifications again. They shall resume. What else do we have? Uh, so we have a low battery notification. So when your wireless controller is low on power, uh, reaches a critical level, you'll get a notification telling you that it's l uh, low on battery and you should change them as quickly as possible to avoid the controller shutting off in the middle of gameplay. That's all great stuff, Richard. You also have a little preview of what we can expect in the future, right? So earlier this year, we did, with the one guide, we did an extended preview for some of the some of the features on Smart Glass. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing an extended preview on the console for an update to home. Okay. Uh, so uh, we're introducing a friends area on home that will show you at a glance what your friends are up to, the most popular games amongst your friends, and even a gamer score leaderboard to ins uh, inspire some competition, some healthy competition amongst your friends, so that you can see how you're doing compared to your friends uh, at earning more gamer score. And it's going to stay in preview until our preview audience has given us the feedback and we've had a chance to digest and respond to it. So when it's generally available, it's exactly the way we want it. That is awesome. Well, Richard Irving, thank you for walking us through what's coming in August and a little preview about what's coming later this year. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.